Hi everybody, welcome back for our story of the Leo Leone author study. We are going to read the story, A Color of His Own. Here we go. Notice how the end pages are written Leo Leone, and then you can see the chameleon in the background. Think back to the Frederick story, how he wrote Frederick, Frederick, Frederick. Kind of a cool activity. If you have some crayons, you could do that with, and then watercolor over them, and I bet you could replicate this. Here we go, a color of his own. Here is a little synopsis of the story, so I'll start with that. The sad chameleon has a problem, unlike all the other animals. He has no color of his own. Changing wherever he goes, he turns red with the autumn leaves and black in the long, dark winter. But in the spring, in the green grass, he finds a delightful solution. A color of his own. Parrots are green. Goldfish are red. Elephants are gray. Pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. And on the tiger, they are striped like tigers. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. But in the autumn, the leaf turned yellow and a little bit of orange. And did so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red and the chameleon turned red too. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch and with it, the chameleon. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. Right, because we have less sunshine in the winter. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass. And there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own? He asked. You see both of those in the picture at the same time? There we go. I'm afraid not said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be alike. And so they remained side by side. They were green together, and purple, and yellow, and red with white polka dots, and they lived happily ever after. So I hope you enjoyed our book. We're going to continue with an activity. Enjoy.